Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about something really, really, really interesting that happened within the past couple of months that still involves my dear friends at Waves. They come up with a unique plugin called Waves Stream, which allows you to pretty much establish a remote collaboration among you and artists all over the world, breaking free from your studio, sharing your work directly from your DAW into anybody's studio or even better, cell phone. All right, what is WaveStreams? WaveStreams is a new plugin that Waves have developed in order for us to stream extremely lossless and high quality audio from our DAW into other people's computer or phones. Now, I'm going to show you how I generally use wave streams, specifically to reference mixes and to make sure that whatever translations I have between my main monitors and NS10 would translate also on a playback system that, whether we like it or not, is the main playback system that a lot of people tend to use. Let's jump right in. First and foremost, let's give it a listen a bit on the song that I've been working on so far. The song is called Out of the Bag, uh, composed by a dear friend of mine, Olivier Forney. So you get a little bit of an idea of the, the style of song. Of course, it's for a movie. So let's open up WaveStream. Now WaveStream comes with two plugins essentially. A main plugin, which is our WaveStream Send, which allow us to send audio from our DAW into whatever we want, which could be somebody else's DAW for um, an online collaboration. And this works really, really well. And then it also comes with a Wave Receiver which is over here. Now, as you can see right now, of course, I'm not sending and receiving things uh, at the same time within my computer, but the receiver pretty much allow us to have our uh, main components, which specify the sample rate of the project, how many channels, and the sender play had. And along with that, you also have a stream, which allows you to audition, perhaps the mix that I'm doing, but also, collaboration. So let's say there are specific parts you want to enhance within your project and you have a guitar player on the other side of the world with by flipping of a knob over here we can actually allow that person to hear directly from my DAW into his or her DAW and simultaneously compose music with extremely low latency. Of course this comes with a bit of a trade. So stream streams audio with lossless audio quality with the maximum sample rate you have in your project, making sure that, of course, everything you hear to evaluate the mix is properly heard. Collaboration, on the other hand, allows you to minimize the delay or the buffer, but at what cost? Reducing a bit the quality of the audio. Nevertheless, this is an incredible, incredible software. Now, let's jump right back at wave streams as I want to show you how I generally use it to work within my studio with clients, but especially for myself to reference mixes, because I think there's no better way to really understand how does your mix translate in non-high-end, um, um, in non-hi-fi environment or pro audio environment. So the beauty of this is that I can actually stream out the audio from my DAW into my phone and from my phone I can listen through my earbuds, I can actually connect a wireless Bluetooth uh, speaker and reference from there and even better I could actually reference the mix from the car. I could loop the song in its whole length and entirety. I can send myself and I'm going to show you in a little bit how to do it a link via wave streams and reference that mix in my car. Now, how does it work? Right now, WaveStreams is one of the easiest streaming platform you could use. 
In this scenario over here, we have a lot of things grayed out because I don't have anyone else receiving because otherwise over here, as you can see, there's a little microphone icon that even allow us to speak through our doll and our microphone. And I'm gonna probably shoot another video showing you how to do this and talk directly to a person, a collaborator on the other side of the world. In this case, I wanna simply stream the mix that I'm doing over my phone. So as you can see here, we have this giant blue button. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. And as you can see right now, Wave Streams tells me that it's live. And while I'm talking, Waves is actually generating a QR code or a URL, which I can actually copy onto my clipboard and actually send it via WhatsApp, via email, any other service. So how can I stream audio from my computer into my phone? Easy as that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my camera. I will scan the QR code over here. And as you can see here, Waves is gonna load up his own app. Now this is the Wavestream app. In this specific context, as you can see right now, it is asking me click to connect. And I'm gonna go ahead and click it. As you can see right now, it is trying to connect. And right now we saw two things happening simultaneously. The first thing is that within my wave streams here, a blue icon with this face with headphones light up, meaning I am now able to press play. And as you can see here, it's flashing live and playback whatever I have in my computer through my phone. Here on my phone instead, there is a little bit of a next, next to the speaker telling me that the speaker right now it's muted by clicking on it. Right now, they are connected. I'm gonna go ahead and mute my system. And by pressing play, I should be able to hear audio coming from my DAW into my phone. Now let's say I want to just solo one part of the stems that I have within my DAW. Let's say only the drums. I can solo it and in real time, I'm actually going to solo different things in real time. So bear with me, I'm just going to be with one hand. Uh, you can actually feel these differences even in EQ compression right on your phone. Overall, I think this is one of the best plugins out there. And again, I'm just scratching the surface here. I'm actually working on a much greater video to show you how I actually collaborate in real time with different composers and different producers in order to really evaluate the, 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 the greatness of this plugin. But in a nutshell, if you're looking to reference your mix to make sure that whatever you're doing in your DAW in your studio, is translating fairly well on different devices. If you are aiming to work with a client that is not physically in your studio and is, is on the other side of the world, and yet instead of sending him the mix, you will actually send him a link and you can actually have a live mix session with your client with lossless audio in real time, being able to finalize your project in the fastest way possible along with your client. What does it mean? Right now we're talking about a real collaboration. You're not anymore alone just waiting for notes. This maximize speed and maximize workflow, but even more the connection that you have with your clients. Being able to craft the mix and being able to collaborate and being on the exact same page while mixing. This is, I think, one of the greatest things that Waves could do, and I could not stress how much this has helped me throughout this past two months in creating better mixes for my clients, and most importantly, being able to reference it on the spot. So right now I have my main, my NS10, plus a third speaker, which is my phone, 
and I can easily switch between all these three systems, making sure that whatever I'm creating is actually rocking on all the surfaces. If you're interested in using this plugin, I'm going to leave a link down in the description for you to test it out, and I highly encourage you to use it because it's a phenomenal tool. Until the next video, ciao.